Hey guys, welcome to today's lesson. This is looking at credit cards, possibly the most challenging, one of the most challenging sections in our Financial Maths 4 for the General Maths 2 course. Um, it's not still not that challenging, but there are a couple of little, uh, little humps, I guess, that people get stuck on that we uh, really want to try and work through. Um, first of all, credit cards, when we're talking about interest, um, you know, we've spoken about borrowing money, that sort of stuff. Credit cards is basically a very quick way to borrow money from a bank. So they are basically loans, okay? But that is very, very fast, and often we get ourselves in trouble with credit cards, unfortunately. However, we can use two different types of interest when working out credit cards. We've obviously got our simple interest or our fixed rate interest, and we've also got our compound interest. Um, I'll say for most of the time, and if it doesn't mention it, um, it's a little bit different. Usually, you know, they have to mention compound interest, etc., for it to be compound interest. However, for the majority of the time, um, we use compound interest for our credit cards because what happens, the percentage rate is charged per day for credit cards, which means it's constantly building. And we know if interest builds per day or per period, then that is actually compound interest. There will be questions, however, that will state if it is simple interest, but if it doesn't state simple interest, then we do um, tend to use the compound interest formula. Um, that's the, the first thing that we have to really know, I guess, about credit cards. Um, the second thing is that often what we get is uh, interest rates like this. They'll say at zero point, uh, let's say two percent per day. Okay, and we need to use that as a decimal in our calculations. Now, the issue with that, I mean, it's already per day, so there's no need to put it per day. If it was like 10% per annum, then yes, what you'd have to do is divide that um, over 365 as your decimal. The issue is this is 0.2%, and the, the downfall that most students find is that they'll put the decimal as 0.2 and they think that's what it is as a decimal. The problem is that would mean it's 20% per day, which obviously is not what we want. So it's actually 0 0.2 over 100 like we would normally do, which is 0 0.002, okay? Um, think about, we usually put the decimal point um, over here kind of thing. Okay, divide by 100, etc. So that's the other loophole um, that, that people get stuck on. And there actually is a third one. Okay, um, often what will happen, they'll do things like this. They'll say that uh, I bought something on the 5th of Jan and I had to pay the bill on the 20th of Jan um, and they want to find out how much interest that I'm owing. Now, because interest is per day, then obviously my N value, where, whether it be simple interest or compound interest, okay, is going to be in days already. But we have to work out how many days in this particular case has gone from the 5th of January to the 20th of January. And people are not sure whether or not to count the first and last day. Now, usually in the HSC, what will happen, they will actually state that interest is calculated from the day that you purchase to the day that you um, that you pay. So basically, we we are counting or including those two days in our amount. So we're counting from the fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, thirteenth, fourteenth, fifteenth, sixteenth, seventeenth, eighteenth, nineteenth, twentieth. Okay, which in this case will give us approximately sixteen days. Um, now, sometimes the textbooks, you've got to be careful depending on what textbook they use, uh, will not count those days. So you just have to be careful. They'll count the first day, but often they won't count the second day. So you just need to be careful about what's going on. Um, but certainly in the HSC examinations um, for the last probably 10, 15 years, they always state in the questions from the day that of, of purchase to the day that we uh, that we pay up. So in that case, you know, for the exams, just make sure you read the questions. Alrighty, so let's have a look at a question. Again, you might like to uh, pause this and have a go at it, it's up to you. 
Samantha has a credit card with a compound interest. That's quite nice, isn't it? They actually tell us that it's compound interest. Compound interest rate of 18% per annum and that has no interest-free period. Samantha used her credit card to pay for clothing costing $280. She paid the credit card um, a credit card account 14 days later. What is the total amount she's paid for the clothing? So again, the question comes down this last part, what is the total amount she's paid for the clothing, including the interest? All right, so first of all, I saw that compound interest, so I'm putting A equals P brackets 1 plus R to the power of N. That's my very, very first step that I'm going to be doing there. Um, I'm now going to put in, I've got my principal amount. That's how much that I've borrowed. And remember, we've paid $280 worth for the clothing, so we've borrowed that amount of money. 1 plus, now my interest rate in this particular case is not put as per day yet. So it's actually per year. So now I need to put it over 365. That gets me in terms of um, for days and it's for 14 days. And uh, now I need to put that into my calculator and I come up with a total amount of $281.94. Therefore, that's how much that I am being charged altogether. Just be careful, of course, if you're using this simple interest formula, if it has asked you to, that calculates the interest, not the total amount owing. So just be a little bit careful. They might ask you what is the interest being charged. Now that could be another separate question in this particular case, and, and which that would be the $81.94. All right. Okay, so let's have a look at another question. Okay, this is looking at an example where they actually give you a credit card. This is quite common in the HSC questions. Um, so we've got quite a few things going on here. We've got an opening balance of $207.72. We've got some new charges. We've got payments or refunds of $207.72. Now what you'll often find um, in these questions, it will have an opening balance and it will tell you that it's actually paid for that amount. So realistically, those things don't really matter. For us, what does matter is the new charges of $460.14. We're given a date of the 30th of November, that's the day that it's due. And often we are being told um, what when things were purchased, etc. So we'll have a look down here. Uh, not much else going on here. We've got points and etc that might happen on the bill um, a few other things happening okay so it says here for part a i'll put that over here the right hand side what is the credit card account number so sometimes the questions will be just about um, answering things viewing off the actual uh off the statement so the credit card number um, we've got the mastercard so we've got four zeros We've got 1801 0002 1010. So, pretty straightforward question. Part B What is the opening balance? Well, that was $207.72. That's how much I owed last time. Uh, C what is, when is, what is the payment due date? In this case, it is the 30th of November. Uh, we've got for D What is the minimum payment? Okay, so it says here the minimum payment is $25. So again, that's pretty straightforward. E, what is the closing balance? Uh, okay, and the closing balance in this case is $460.14. It says it there, that's how much that I had for my charges. And guess what? That's it, pretty straightforward. Okay, now we're coming to our last question that I'll go through. And the next tutorial, guys, I will go through some actual HSC questions so you can get to see some of these in real action. Um, okay, Andrew's credit card charges 0.054% compound interest per day. So we've been given that as compound interest per day. Um, that's quite important. That's one of the, the, the things I told you to be careful of. Um, I'm, not, I'm just going to stop there because I'm really wary of this first part. That's 0.054%. So if I put that as a decimal, it'd be double zero, then the 054. So that's what it would be as a decimal. 
you be really careful. If you're not sure, just put this as 0 0.054 over 100 because obviously any fraction, any sort of percentage as a decimal, we divide it by 100. Okay, back to the question. Um, how much interest does Andrew charge on an amount of $450, which is outstanding on a credit card for 35 days? So once again, we're using the compound interest uh, formula. It's told us to do that. If it asks for simple interest, then you'd use that formula. Now we've got an outstanding amount of 450. That's what I've borrowed. We've got the 0 0.0054, and we're doing it for... 35 days. So these have all been quite nice where we haven't actually had to calculate the number of days. Um, just make sure that you do know your days of the month as well because certainly you need to know that there are 30 days in September, April, June and November, all the rest are 31, etc, etc. So just be careful about those things. You need to know your days of the month for these questions. Um, okay, so I've typed that in my calculator. So we come up with the answer in this particular instance of $458.58. Now, remember, I keep on saying to you that once you have answered or you've got your answer there, go back to the question just to make sure that it wanted the total amount. And it says, which, um, it says how much interest? There we go. So I'm lucky that I went back and checked it because it says how much interest, not the total amount. So if I want to find out how much interest I'm being paid, well, I owed 450. I've paid back 458 and 58 cents. So that's how much I owe. So we've paid a total of $8.50. 58 cents of interest. Again, you can use the formula if you wish. Um, interest equals amount takeaway principal. However, as I said before, common sense. Just take the uh, the total amount away from the principal or the principal away from the total amount to get the interest earned. I hope that made sense. Just again, I'm just going to finish off really quickly by saying. Uh, you know, when you have an interest rate of like 0.05%, be careful, put it over 100 or divide it by 100 if you just to be careful. So we get the double zero, then the 0 0.5 as your interest rate. Be very careful. Has it asked a compound or has it asked a fixed interest? And the last thing is count your days and read the question uh, what it asks. So know your little thing about 30 days, half September, April, June, and November, all the rest of 31, etc., etc. Have a fantastic day, guys. Uh, I hope this made a little bit of sense and was useful for you.